Hi, I am back now. I know this video takes long time. I think it's uh, 25 days ago I uploaded a part one of this video and uh, in that video I haven't uh, deployed that project. Okay, uh, but now uh, I created a part two and in this project, I mean in this video, we will deploy this project. Okay, and now I think your wait is over now and now it's time to deploy. And why I get that much time? Because in this uh, time i am working on uh, my client project and also i got a job okay <laughs> as a full stack engineer in telepi uh, i got a job and i joined from 1 march and now i am working as a full-time employee uh, in uh, telepi that's why this video takes time and now but i will continue on youtube okay i know i will continue on youtube i promise but maybe this take time but i will continue okay and now uh, somewhere here I buy me a coffee if you want you can support me and also in a link you can support me but now let's start the video and that's is enough for intro because I haven't have much time to create a long intro okay so now it's time to deploy uh, for deploying uh, I will use render uh, I am not sponsored by render okay, uh, and now here uh, just open the, the here and select our project uh, in last video we have post this code on github and yeah, we we'll just name it for backend okay first we will deploy the backend after the backend we will deploy the front end and now here select the folder if you remember uh, here there maybe not there okay group cans there uh, here you can see the backend and the full uh, front end uh, these two folders inside the folder we, uh, we uh, our project is uh, okay inside that folder our main project okay so now here so we need to select the folders okay so to select the folder just again come on to render where the render render yeah there is render by the way i am recording this video second time because first time due to my dual monitor i haven't record anything okay so now it's a backend now so okay let's remove this so now the backend backend and here we need to add commands here for bun yeah bun install and 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 bun run build okay i help from my senior uh, i got a help from my senior because i uh, previously i haven't added this that's why i am getting the error so now again bun run start just a start command select the free instance and just add the environment variables okay so now go to the front end okay so now let's open the project i don't know where is the project ah, there is the project and now open the code and 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 it's a backend so open the backends environment variables and maybe uh here uh the backend environment variables maybe ha ah, there there is a backend environment variable so what now we need to do first we need to use this i mean replace this with our atlas database uh, url but i am not gonna do that okay because i don't want to go and check my password and all kind of things so i will ignore this okay so but if you want you can do because this video is just a, a deployment how to deploy this project that's why okay so now you need to put your database live database url of mongodb and there you need to change the client and server urls so now i think it's pretty much done and now here control a control c and this open this and now paste this here okay so for now just leave it and just deploy okay and parallelly we will deploy our front end okay so just wait okay now it's done and create a new project a web service and inside the web service again go to the group games and now this time and use the front end okay so now it's a front end and front end now src it's a front end and there bun run again this command and again this command and now it's a free instance and again variables so for variables let me close all okay so now it's a close all and maybe somewhere yeah, the origin environments variable and control a and control c and this one and just paste here okay we will change just wait for now and deploy okay so i think now it's deployed now go to the backend and copy the backend urls okay because i am sure the backend is now okay so backend is still in deployment so just copy the backend url okay and come on to front end again okay and now here it is still deploying so worry not just go here and environment variables added the environment variables okay it's a it's a app based url i mean it's a front end url so just copy this front end url from here 
and control a control b yeah it's a front end url and maybe here uh, it's a client id so ignore this uh, it's a server based url okay we have already copied the server based url this is the back end url this is our server based url and save rebuild and deploy okay so now this part is done from here okay so now this is done and copy the front end url go to the back end okay also in the back end we need to assign the front end okay so here back end yeah now it's deployed now go to the settings not setting it's an environment variable go to the back end's environment variable and here uh, go to the edit mode okay in the edit mode uh, it's uh, all secret i mean no not this one okay it's a server url okay so in the server url if you remember we already have copied server url this is the server url if you don't you can find here you can see it's a server url client domain okay if you remember and this is important for the cron uh, course policy so that's why remove this one and put our server not front end url client id github secret okay uh, i recommend you to go and add your uh, live url of mongodb atlas could have client id secret if you want to put you can put here i'm not gonna do that anything because this is just for a dummy purpose okay so okay but this telegram bot we will get an error because i have deleted this telegram okay i mean telegram bot related to this api okay it's a long time and i deleted that so worry not just again save and rebuild it okay so now this is done okay our project is deployed successfully and now we need to set up a cron job okay to set up the cron job just come on here and set a cron job okay let me show the website uh, this one just search for this one cron job org okay and come here okay uh, as i tell you uh, i am recording this video second time okay so now here you need to create a cron job okay if you remember we have created two endpoints for a cron job if you come here and go to the back end okay inside the back end it's two it's a one is validator for telegram bot if you remember we have used post uh, thunder client uh, to deal with our banning user okay you can see this is your endpoint so just copy this okay so copy this come on here and this thing we need to run once a day i mean so ban user ban user and put that url here okay and now replace this domain with our okay what happened uh, replace this domain with our backend domain so maybe this one yeah this one is your backend domain and runs not this once a day and just select a time anytime you want i am selecting this one okay so now you can see this time and now just save it okay uh, this will run i mean this will run this endpoint in every day at 12 2 30 pm okay uh, in this this is different in your time zone uh, in my time zone it's a 2 30 and other and also we need to create one more endpoint which is the paypal verification uh, paypal payout verification so just paypal okay pay pal and this one yeah this one is correct spelling and if you don't remember the url so what not a problem just come on here and you can see it's a paypal uh, it's a paypal and here you can see uh, it's a v1 chrome yeah, it's a v1 and also here you can see it's a forward slash api okay so now again copy control v okay and okay control a remove this one and now come here and 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 and, and okay just add this one url for now and replace this with our uh backend domain and this one is our backend domain and if you think this is the same and here we just need to use paypal pay pal okay so now it's done and here uh, i need to run this in maybe in every minute so it's every minute and now this will also verify but i recommend you to use webhooks okay uh webhooks if you use webhook then this is this problem gonna solve uh, this problem okay this problem paypal verification but you need to put that here and if you use node cron node cron to create your own cron job cron server so maybe you do not need the cron job or 
platform to do anything you can use this uh, but i don't i recommend you maybe i not recommend recommend you because it just depends okay if you want to put load on server you can use if you don't want to put load on server don't use okay so it's depend and now this is pretty much enough now our project is deployed and i again put a vimia coffee link somewhere so just keep supporting me and uh, by the way uh, i cross almost 26 uh, 26 thousand views but i haven't get any supports from you uh, on my buy me a coffee link i don't know why but this is not a problem for me i am happy with that so not a problem uh, i will keep continuing on youtube so just enough okay so bye